Hi guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Roda. My name is Ray Prakash and again I am back with a fantastic set on quant based puzzle. Okay, so we are continuing the series here quant based puzzle. It's a very uh, very uh, important topic for uh, especially in recent pattern of CAT they ask for sets on quant based puzzles actually. Okay, so you can take it as a case slate, as a puzzle, whatever you like, right? So perfect CAT level set. Okay, just pause this video, try this set for at least 15 minutes. And then we'll solve it. If you're not able to solve it, just try it for at least 15 to 20 minutes, right? Okay. Now this set here says that. Uh, now see, this is actually it's a big puzzle, right? It's a good puzzle having multiple points, right? So whenever there's a multiple parameters puzzle, actually I can say, then I can always I have uh, told you earlier also that we read the points only once, okay? We we jot all the point, we jot down all the point points in the table all the direct points in the table and all the indirect points outside the table, right? But actually we jot it down, okay? So we read the point again only once and then we will put all the points in the information actually, okay? So in puzzle, this is the most common thing that we just keep on reading the points again and again, again and again and we waste a lot of time, okay? So make sure you make a, rule, a general rule, read the uh, puzzle only once, okay? So for example, you see here, this set talks, uh, talks about the Average sales for the seven months were, uh, were 45,000, which were in the same as that in September. Okay, so average sales for the seven months were 45,000 and you can actually see it previously, right? What this set was all about actually. Okay, so you can just see it here that a coaching institute has to prepare its business report for last seven months of the year, but they lost the records. Their manager could remember the following. Their average sales for the seven months were 45,000, which were the same as those in September. Okay. So the first line you can see here, if you have read this set actually, okay, so I'll give you a summary from here to here, they're talking about the sales part. Okay. Then from here to here, they're talking about the expense part actually. Fine. And, uh, till, sorry, till, till, till this point. Okay. And from here to here, they're talking about the average profit here. Okay, so again, uh, this data is in basically three parts, right? Sales, expense, and profit. So I'll also make a table like that. Okay, so let me make a table uh, for that. Okay, sales, expense, and profit. Fine. Okay. So I just write here. Okay, make it make a table like this, guys. Let it be sales, expense, and profit. Okay. Then we have months here from. Uh, last uh, for the seven months and uh, this is basically from uh, yeah so November June I think it was it was written in the set right I think the read is set actually I've just written a summary yeah it is last seven months okay it is last seven months fine okay so that means from June to December it should make the table okay I'll, I'll make the table from June to December fine so we just make it guys, June to December, June, July, August, September, October, November and December, fine. So once I make this uh, actually, okay, and uh, we'll draw a table actually, fine, like this. So always arrange the data. Okay, that's the most basic thing of a uh, basic point of solving a set. Arrange the data. Okay, so it should not like may it should, should not be a messy one actually while solving questions in CAT. Okay, so it should be neat and clean actually. Fine. Okay, like this. The arrange the data here. Fine. Yeah. Now you can see here, guys. So what I can see is see here is now just try to see this point actually. Okay. So again, we'll read the puzzle only once, right? We'll read the puzzle only once, okay? Average sales for the seven months were 45,000, which was same as during September. So I'll note here that September sales was 45,000 and it was actually average sales for seven months. That means what is total sales guys? So total sales is how much? 45,000 into seven, that is equal to what? 315K, that is 3,15,000, okay? 3,15,000, okay? Now, uh, basically now, uh, the highest, their highest sales of 52,000 were in November, okay? So highest sales of 52,000 was in November, 
mark somewhere highest because in data in puzzle no point is useless right right we utilize every point so if they are given highest here that must have been some meaning actually okay and the lowest in june to mark here the lowest was in june mark the l here okay he also remembered that their sales in december were 48000 and the sales in no two months were equal sales in december was 48000 okay and the sales in no two months were equal that means all are distinct data right so all are distinct data okay fine we'll just put this point here that all are distinct data right i'll just little just write here distinct numbers actually fine now let's move forward uh the average amount of, uh, over sales over right now move to expense now the average expense in the given period were 38000 which was which were the same as that in october so in october the expense was 38000 what is total expense now so total expense becomes 38k into 7 38000 7 that is uh, 266000 okay that is 266k that is 266000 okay now uh the highest expense were in november and the lowest was 31000 in june so lowest of 31000 was in june and highest expense were in november i'll put here highest expense in november okay like sales expense also were in multiples of 1000 and also were uh, different for each of the seven months that means all the data are different here okay so all are distinct numbers and all are here multiples of 1000 okay 1000 key can write here okay and basically uh key already used in put here 1000 a so you can just put here 1000 a right okay 1000 a that will multiple of 1000 okay now uh again we had uh, done through this right okay now after this they have written here like uh, sales expense were also 1000 and okay yeah the expense in november and the sales in august were same so expense in november so let's say expense in november is x so sales in august will also be x right so just see the approach guys i am reading the data and i am jotting down the point actually okay so i'm not wasting again i'll not be wasting time again reading the whole set once i have read the set i have read the puzzle i have all the points in front of my eyes and then i can solve by combining all the points actually fine okay So, like sales, the expense also varies in multiple thousand, and we have done this here, right? Okay, sales in August were same. Fine. Now come to a part, a, a profit part, guys. Okay. So his average profit for the given period, okay. So his average profit for the given period has become how much? so the average uh, profit for the given period was the same as his profits in the month of june and december so average so we can just calculate the average profit guys okay because the total expense is 315k and the total ex sorry total sales is 315k that is 315000 so total sales is 315000 total expense is 266000 so what is total profit so all is what is profit Profit is sales minus expense. Okay, so three one five k minus two sixty six k. That is what is total profit is. So total profit is forty nine thousand. What is the average profit? Divide by seven. That is equal to seven thousand. Okay, that means the seven thousand here is same in June and December. Okay, so I'll put seven thousand in June here. Okay, let me put seven thousand in June, and let me put seven thousand in December. Fine. He also remembered that his highest profit of the of ten thousand was in November. So highest profit of ten thousand was in November. Fine, I'll put here again highest profit. Okay. And the profit of five thousand in July was the lowest. So five thousand in July was the lowest, right? So that's all data we have now. Okay. So again, you quickly fill whatever the information we have. Okay. So you can just see see it, guys. Here, or uh, see it here. So fifty two always sales minus expense is always profit, right? So fifty two thousand minus forty minus ten thousand should be forty two thousand. I can fill the data here. Similarly, in we can look for the columns which 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 we have two data already, and third one we can calculate. So again, thirty something minus thirty one thousand seven thousand. That means this has to be how much thirty eight thousand. Okay, 
Now this x was 42,000. This x here also becomes 42,000. Okay. That's what we got, right? That's what we got now. So now what data we have left, we have, what we are left with is, so we are left with here, let's say two sales here are blank, put here S1, put here S2, okay? And three expenses are blank, E1, E2, and E3. Now, can you get the value of S1, S2 here? Yes. What is the value of S1 plus S2? So we can see the total is 3,15,000 here, okay? Out of that, how much, how much we have used here? 38 plus 42 is 80, then 125, then 177 and 225. So 315 minus 225, we are left with 90,000. So S1 plus S2 is 90,000, fine? Now, what is the value of E1 plus E2 plus E3? Okay, E1 plus E2 plus E3. Three blanks here, right? Here you see here, uh, three blanks, total is 266K, fine? In that, we have used how much? Oh, sorry, I can fill here also, no? I can fill here 41,000, right? Yes, I can fill this 41 year olds. Okay, so now you can see here now uh, basically so expense is how much, right? So E1 plus E2 plus is E3. How much you've used? 31 plus 38, 69, triple 1 plus 41, 142. So out of 266, we have used a 152. Sorry, one, I need 152, no? Yeah, 152. So I'm left with 114. So 1 lakh 14,000 is left. Okay. So guys, I can start thinking, you know, because I have to see this data, what data will satisfy here. So I can start thinking from any number actually, fine. But actually, we have some constraints here, you know, because the, this is the highest data, this is the lowest data, this is the sum 114,000, all numbers have to be in multiples of 1000, right? So with all this constraint actually, so more is the values, right? So more values you pick among, these, among the uh, data, okay, the more constraint you can actually develop. That means, for example, if I want to start this from uh, analyzing from S1 plus S2 is 90,000 or E1 plus E2 plus E3 is 1,14,000, I would like to start from E1 plus E2 plus E3. Okay, because the values are more, so this will become more constraints, right? More restrictions. If there are more restrictions on E1, E2, E3, there will be less cases actually. Fine. So now you see guys, E1 plus E2 plus E3 is equal to 1,14,000. Correct. Now, can I check you? Can I check this here? That obviously uh, the uh, the all the values are distinct, right? So the one one four by three is thirty eight, and thirty eight has already occurred here. That means thirty eight I cannot use at all. Okay. Now if I see forty two is the highest value, and forty one is already present here. That means if if I can't use thirty eight so to make this sum as one one four, one of the sum of the value I don't know the order, right? Order can be anything. But two of the values has to be 38,000, uh, sorry, 39,000 and 40,000. Right? Because 38 I cannot use, that have to increase one, uh, one data, right? It's like symmetry, no? All values can be 38, 38, 38, right? So if I increase one value by 38, let's say if I increase one value to 39, then other one I need to reduce to 37 to maintain that balance of 114. Ah, again, if I make one value 38 plus 240, so one is 38, one is 40, then other should be 36 to again maintain that 114, right? So similarly, here also, so I, but I can't use 38 here, right? That means I have to increase some values. So increase means I can't, I can increase only by two because 42 is occupied, 41 is occupied, only 40 and 39 is left. So both has to be used, right? So 40 plus 39 is 79, so I'm only left with 35,000. That means, these are my three values here. That's it. 40 plus 39 plus 35. This is equal to 114,000. These are my three values here. Now, once I get these values, I'm sure, right? And there, there will be no other case because I can't push the value beyond 39 and 40. This has to be there. So I can't, you can think over it, guys. I, ca I can't have any other case actually. So, but I don't know that where to fill 39, where to fill 44, uh, sorry, 40 and where to fill 35. So just, I'll just check it, right? Because it's LR. So never think over it. Don't think over like, I always say in examination and all, people are pondering over like, if you get such kind of situation, they just think like this, they'll think like this, or they look upward, right? So basically looking upward will not give the answer, okay? In LR, you have to solve it actually, right? So you don't be referent or don't be afraid from making cases. You make cases, guys, okay? You make cases, okay? So now let's see here. So basically, if, if we have what is 5,000, okay? So I don't know what value values will be, right? So let's say, for example, uh, I can put, let's say, for example, I can put 35,000, right? And let's say, will 35,000 work? Let me check. 
if i put 35000 there then here i need to put 40000 because 40 minus 35 will be 5 okay but s1 plus s2 is 90000 if s1 is 40000 then f2 becomes 50000 if f s2 becomes 50000 that means 50 minus 30 it will become 12000 right but i see that highest profit is 10000 so it can't be 12 right that means this assumption is wrong so e1 can't be 35 right so i can put here that e1 can't be 35 okay in this rub this data okay e1 can't be 35 and i'll put here fine chalo e1 can't be 35 okay now let me pick here next number guys a uh, 40 can e1 be 40 let me check if i put e1 as 40000 then for this uh, as sales minus expense to be 50000 5000 s1 has to be 45000 but 45000 is already here that means value can cannot repeat right all are distinct multiples of 1000 that means this 40 is also wrong so 40 so even can't be 35 even can't be 40 so only one possibility left with even i think okay so only one possibility is left with even what possibility is left that possibility is How much? Thirty-nine thousand. So E one can only be thirty-nine thousand. So I'll put E one as thirty-nine thousand. Okay. In that case, what is S one? So forty-four minus thirty-nine should be equal to five thousand. S one plus S two is how much? Ninety thousand. That means S two should be forty-six thousand. Forty-six minus thirty-eight should be eight thousand. So all are telling, right? No issue here. Okay. Now E two and E three is left. So I can have forty as value. I already used thirty-nine here, right? So I'm only left with forty and for thirty-five. I can't use a forty here because if I use a forty here, in that case forty-two minus forty will be two thousand, and already the lowest profit is five thousand. That means I can't put a two here, right? That means this is again wrong. So what is the value of e two? If e two can't be forty, already it can't be thirty-nine. So only possibility is e two should be thirty-five thousand. If e two is thirty-five thousand, then forty-two minus thirty-five becomes seven thousand. Okay. It is seven thousand now, so the last last value is set was this should be forty thousand, okay? Forty five minus forty should be five thousand, right? So hence we have solved this set, okay? So it's a fantastic set, guys. It's a really good set, okay? And like this, we are solving around. Uh, I'm very happy to announce in the last video only that like this, and there is this is a perfect cat level set, right? So like this. uh we are going to solve 450 plus lrdi sets okay in my new cat 21 batch so my cat 21 batch is starting from 24th october okay every day every weekend live at an academy plus in first two months we'll be mostly doing the classes 6 hours per day because i have a lot of commitment with people currently solving for giving cat and zat once we uh, once the zat is over around uh, jan first week of january then we can Increase the classes frequency to around ten to twelve hours per week. Okay, so right now, uh, this is at for CAT twenty one batch should be uh, right now in first two months. I'm mean, starting for twenty fourth October. It should be around six hours per week. Okay, so we're starting with twenty fourth October with speed, maths, and arithmetic. Again, it's a sixty plus hour course of arithmetic first module, and in December last we'll be starting with LRDI. Okay. So it's a great opportunity for all of you when you're doing, uh, when you're so attending my classes. You don't need any book actually. My question bank, my notes are more than enough. So yes, so from twenty fourth October at nine thirty a.m. we'll meet. If you want to enroll for these courses, we'll meet day. We'll meet daily in live classes. We talk, we laugh, uh, we motivate each other in Telegram group. Uh, in our plus Telegram, we solve a lot of questions, doubts. So every day I keep tracking people. Okay. So, if you want to enroll these courses in CAT twenty one batch, you can use my referral code Ravi Rodha. Okay, Ravi Rodha is the code here. Whatever prices are shown there, you will get ten percent discount, and especially these courses for CAT twenty one people. Okay, so see you live, guys, uh, at twelfth uh, uh, at nine thirty a.m. on twenty fourth October with speed maths and arithmetic. Okay, and plus moreover, we'll be launching more such sets. Okay, so I want all of you to. uh basically uh prepare for ift also so all of you please uh enroll to this link given the link uh, for ift pretest papers it's absolutely free of cost for everyone okay and uh, you can just give all the previous ift test paper as a practice before cat also so it will be a very good time on practice for all of you because ift also has less questions uh basically very close to what 
the present cat pattern is okay so all of you should do it right okay chalo guys so let's uh, meet in the next video with another fantastic set okay so hope you like this set again uh, try this set after this after i've done let's try this set again by yourself try to see those points that okay i don't have to read the puzzle again i don't have to uh, solve uh, uh, every time read, uh, read the lines in the puzzle and waste my time okay uh, read the points only once note down in the table and just solve ha huh? in the last okay just consolidate all the points together and the puzzle will be solved right okay thank you for watching guys bye bye